So I'm here with Andy King, reading glasses on. This guy there, he won't want to admit it. He says it's sad. I think this is incredible. It's Tangerine Dream Expert. He's here today to uh, investigate some Tangerine Dream history. We've pulled out enemies from the 70s. The lists are out. Tooth combing magazines and publications for any mention of Tangerine Dream, which is phenomenal. And the level of that, I, I can't explain to you viewers of this. It's, we're looking at every advert. We're looking at letters, gig guides, any announcements, John Peel being quoting them in ads. I mean, ha when, when does this end? What, what, are, what are the limits? The, li the limits, obviously, the history of the band. So when the, when the band started in September 67, uh, September 29th, and obviously you can go back before that, and obviously when they finish, perhaps they'll, they'll go on for another two years. I could record this man all day, yeah. the knowledge. It's that boring, yeah. It's not, it's not. <laughs> before you came to the Hyman Archive, for example, you were, you were talking about you'd just buy things on eBay and hope... You'd have to buy blind and rely on the fact that the eBay description would be correct. And as, you can, as you, we've discussed, sometimes people make mistakes and you buy a magazine and then there's nothing in it. So you'd be paying 10, 15, 20 pounds, 30 pounds for a magazine for a page. Or you'd be buying it for a few lines. And you go, so th this particular place is, is invaluable. And if this was all digitised, how explain, I think we discussed that basically we spent, what, five hours tooth combing, but yeah. if this was all digitised, presumably... It would make things so much easier. Well, for, for anybody, anybody who's interested in any... Uh, uh, whatever you hold within here with music or films or anything like that not just with the time but if if you if you want to pay money to search for something whether it's actually worth your time if you could see it is like we just said if there's eight thousand items on something hey that's worth it I, i'd be willing to spend money on it rather than just joining something how i started was um i was on holiday going on holiday to basildon i think it was and it was uh, August 1980, and usual kind of thing. Got a, got a pocket full of loose change, so you think, well, I've got, I've got to buy something. I've vaguely heard of this group, Tangerine Dream, and they had like there was loads of cassettes. So I thought, well, should I get the old stuff? Mm, I don't know, didn't mean anything to me. And they had a latest album out called Tangram, and I thought I'll buy that. And of course, going on holiday, you don't normally have a tape player with you, so I had to wait until the whole holiday was finished until I played it. Mm. And when I played it, it was everything I hoped for in music, everything. Every, everything was distilled into one album. 